Isn't it interesting when you take a look at this program and you think about how many of those folks will go on to work in the WWE yeah. and then maybe more interestingly, who didn't right? like, like Dutch like Dutch Mantel was a great wrestler. And man, you want to talk about a guy who had an interesting look. He had mm-hmm. an interesting look. Now I know he's not necessarily the biggest guy, right? But with all that body here, as silly as that sounds like mm-hmm. that was the calling card or calling card of George, the animal steel. And I know he ate the turnbuckle and all that, but it feels like you could have had him out here carrying a bull whip or whatever you wanted him to do once he was in JCP. And that could have really worked for Vince McMahon too. I'm curious why Vince never gravitated to him. We know he got his shot, you know, what, 20 years later, or right. maybe even that 12 years later as a manager, as, as a manager. Right. But like here, he could have. I don't know. I, I could see in this national expansion, him being a character that could have worked. And, uh, you know, we saw like, uh, Jimmy Hart go on to have all that great success and Rick rude, have all that great success and King Kong Bundy and certainly Randy Savage. And I guess it makes sense when you think about a Jerry Lawler, like part of me is like, how did Lawler not want on that train? But then it's like, well, then your income sort of dictated to you by somebody else. Who knows how much you'll make here. You're probably still printing money. You're home in your bed every night. Uh, you're kind of in control. I mean, I, I get why Lawler would not want to l- leave his really cush deal here. Yeah. Why would you want to never be home 300 days a year for probably the same or maybe less money? I get that. But that's man tail, man. Like I could argue that he could have, he could have done something for Vince there. Two things I'm thinking of here and you, you never know how, why Vince did what he did. I, I mean, Bruce obviously knows him. Vince a lot better than I do, but what comes to mind here is number one, maybe Dutch is, was too Southern for Vince back then. Mm. Or number two, maybe Dutch and Vince had a, an issue. I don't know. Maybe they talked and Vince didn't like you. I, I don't know. I feel like Vince probably has a, a, um, see, that's the thing. Like part of me wants to say he has like a, a prototype in his head of what the look needs to be. Right. And I don't know. I mean, we say that, but then we've seen him push guys like George, the animal steel. And I don't think he was winning any bodybuilding competition. Wasn't George animal steel though. One steel, one of those guys that was almost kind of grandfathered in. Yeah, probably. Yeah. There's a lot of guys who obviously worked for Vince's dad back in the day. I would think that Vince still used. 